אומר לנו הנביא יואל, שני תנאים. United in grief and in anger, thousands gathered in Jerusalem for the Fogel family funeral. Father Ehud and mother Ruti knifed in their sleep along with three of their children, the youngest just three months old. They were found by their 12-year-old daughter on her return from a Friday night youth group meeting. They lived in Itamar, home to some of Israel's most radical settlers. The attacks being blamed on Palestinian militants. I want to see the light in the edge of the tunnel. Unfortunately, I don't see it. If you have to deal with such people, that the word human beings doesn't fit them. They behave like animals, like beasts. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has called it a despicable act. There was condemnation from the Palestinian Authority too. Then, little more than 24 hours after the attack, came the news that Israel's government would approve the building of hundreds of new settlement homes. An immediate natural response to those terrorist activities which are there in order to intimidate. Uh, us uh, in our communities to just uh, knuckle under terror uh, and stop building, uh, the immediate response should be definitely build more, have more communities in Judea and Samaria. Terror must understand here that it doesn't pay off. Israel insists it will only build in areas it expects to keep as part of any eventual peace deal. But the news has been met with anger from the Palestinians. The issue of incitement uh, should be stopped from uh, everybody. The, uh, we consider the settlement activities is the real incitement. We hope that Israel will understand that this unacceptable issue should be stopped. This is the only way to bring peace and stability and security to the, to the Middle East. Settlement building has become the sticking point in the long quest for peace in this area, a goal which for many seems even further out of reach now. Geraldine Cooper, Sky News.